When the Christian community speaks about what they think is going to happen and what they envision as a Jewish person, I relate to 99% of it. But the end is different. Every nation that has blessed Israel, God has blessed them. And every nation that has opposed Israel, God has been in opposition to them. I know that's a strong word to use, indoctrination, but that's where it starts. The Apostle Paul said, Jesus will come back to the Holy Land. And that's what the evangelicals believe, and they want to support it. Christians have given through us $1.4 billion to help Israel and the Jewish people. American evangelicals are the voting bloc of 25% of the American population. Wouldn't we expect to be better represented in government? Jerusalem is where Messiah will come and establish a kingdom that will never end. Today we officially open the United States Embassy in Jerusalem, the capital the Jewish people established in ancient times. We don't believe that Palestine is a place on God's map. That's not evangelicalism. That's fact of history. The State Department was so afraid to move our embassy to Jerusalem, but to us was a very important signal in prophecy. We've been waiting for that to happen for decades. So now we're watching end time signs for the second coming of Christ. There's going to be great tribulation in Israel. There's going to be an end time battle, the Battle of Armageddon. President Trump isn't supporting Israel because of the Jewish community, he's supporting it because of his evangelical followers. This isn't about money. This is bigger than this. This is a strategic partnership of God.